want to show you how we can take this work that's done by hand. And I do think it's important to know how to do it by hand and really get a sense of how this all works and get a good foundation here. Um, but I also want you to know how to use tools available to you. Okay. So this calculator, the Casio FX 991EX, um, this is a $19 calculator. It's quite affordable. And it's also um, permitted on the FE exam, the Fundamentals of Engineering exam, which you can take in your fourth or fifth year here at RIT if you're interested. This has a great vector um, capability built into it that I wanted to demonstrate in the context of this pro problem. So first thing we do is we go into the vector calculation mode and define vector A. So here I can define vector A as to be the location of A, and I can define vector B to be the location of C, and I can calculate out my position vector from those. So I'll define vector A to have three segments, and I'll zero, zero, six. To get back into the vector mode, we're gonna use this option key. So I'll define vector B. I have three dimensions. This one's going to be two, three, zero. So the position vector from A to C is equal to the coordinates of C minus the coordinates of A. So I set the coordinate of C to equal vector B minus vector A, where I put my coordinates of A. And I get my position vector to be two, three, minus six. Two, three, minus six. Now I wanna store this into vector C. So I'll click store and I will click um, here, which stores it into C. Okay, so now vector C equals two, three, negative six. Um, to find the length of that, we can do absolute value of vector C, and that'll give me my length seven. Now, the nice part about this calculator is I don't actually need to calculate out that length if what I'm ultimately looking for is my unit vector. So I'll clear this off, and I'm going to do option, scroll down, and look at this, unit vector built right in here. So the unit vector of vector C is, 0.285x, 0.429y, and negative 0.857z. Okay. Doesn't show it as the two sevenths, three sevenths, six sevenths, but we have all the values in there. So this is my unit vector. That's the vector answer. So I'll clear. And now I'm looking for my magnitude of 420 times my vector answer, which is always stored in here. And I get 120 in the x direction, 180 in the y direction, and minus 360 in the z direction. 